Daniel here, and I am joined by Top 32 at German Nationals 2019. Uh, Kian Chabazi. So, Kian, what did you play for this event? I played Zalamangre. Okay, and what made you decide to play it? <laughs> Honestly, it was the team. I kind of was scared because of play striker in the mirrors. Um, I still think this is the best deck in the vacuum, except Super Pole, it's like really sexy and you can lose so many games to it. But other than that, I would say this is like also the best deck to play if you want uh, consistent Swiss rounds and get into the top cut and have a good chance to win the whole event. And you're happy with the overall performance at this event? Yeah, totally. I am like, I want X2. The only two losses were like not my mistakes, only like Tuseki against Super Poli, as I said. So it's fine. Okay, cool. Shall we get into the deck? Yeah, sure. So, the obvious ones, three. This is on two. Um, we cut it spinny because we play uh, Signet Mining and this is only for pitching and we need the space for the fusion because at the beginning we uh, pitched it away from the deck list but I added it back again because the fusion is really good. Yeah, so two spin is also fine, you don't need three or something like that, just bricks if you have multiples. Yeah. Tree Foxy, best starter except if you have Gazelle to search something. Yeah, these are like obvious, this one is perfect at one, you don't need two, you can search it, you don't need the hard draw, it's all fine. Yeah. Uh, Tree Ash, obvious. Tree Veiler, also obvious. Best hand trap, except on Ash and Imp. Yeah. Debug, uh, people cut it. I like it. It's the best starter. Also, uh, it's a bit bad if you go second because it can run into so many things and you can special some, but I think it's still really good as, uh, as a combo beginner. Yeah. Tree Phantasme, also needed to be played. Yeah, the rotor. The mining is like popular now. I also like it. It's like an extender. It can act as a search. You don't brick as much as uh, as few as before. Yeah. Please play that. <laughs> it's important. The OTK is really good. Um, yeah. If you pitch it, you need to like rely on your own own main deck to out many things and not not go for OTKs and play a more control build. But I like this card. Really, it helped me a lot, and I won I like four games with it. The only brick, but you have to play it. We pitched Cyclone, uh, Gal Cosmic, Galaxy Cyclone, I don't know, Cosmic Cyclone, Cosmic Cyclone. Right? Yeah, the banished one. Yeah. And we pitched it, everyone played it. It was our idea, but, but somehow it got like everyone on it. And um, we thought like, okay, Orcus set up like two or three spell traps, so we need to pop this. In the mirror, you can rely on one pitch away to bait raw, other than that, you kill like the whole back row. It helps against Rogue, it's good against Draco, we are in German Nets, everyone plays Draco here, so it's fine, I like it, I love it actually, and yeah, just try it out if you don't, uh, don't thought about it. It's also obvious, you need to play it. Uh, one Rage, one Raw, also needed, three Impermanence. Um, I cut it in the beginning, but like, situations for Baguska and Colossus and all the shit there where you can draw it for turn and just push it on the monster is like too good to not play it. Yeah. yeah. So okay. 40 and cards main. You're happy with that main deck? Is there anything you would uh, consider changing? No, it's fine for me. It's perfect. It worked for me and I think uh, this is like at least on the best deck list, like on the on the cards that we choose, on the best way. I think like all this look like pretty much the same, but it depends on if you want to play twin or something, but yeah. yeah. I mean, Should twin, there's consideration for single target removal because yeah. counter traps, but you yeah. weren't too worried. No, it's like, it's fine to pitch something away. If you have something good to pitch away, it's also helpful. Um, it triggers your gazelle if you have it. It's a combo starter also. It's like okay to bait raw. You, you feel like a bit sad because you waste two cards on one raw, but it's fine if you can play after that. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, extra is also pretty much standard. We played one Borrow Load, the Heater, the Phoenix, two Heat Leo, Triple Wolf, Triple Bailings. Best card against Pendulums, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> so good. Um, yeah, also obvious the Dweller. Um, please print it in Ulti. I, I want it finally in Ultimate. One Stallio is fine. If you don't have the, um, if you don't go into the tournament with the mindset if you, that you play a lot of Zala mirrors. If you play a lot of Zala mirrors, just play two because you need it for the grind game. But at one it's fine because you can, worst case, turn four, just shuffle it back with Jack Jaguar. If you were wanting to play a second one, would you drop Baguska or what would you drop? I would also, I would actually drop Overload. Okay. So, um, Kang, 
doesn't play it and he topped like 16 in Dutch nets. But I was too scared to not play it. But in the end, I didn't even make it. So yeah, I, c I would cut the link four. You don't need the link four. Uh, yeah, and the one wild chimera, <laughs> obviously. So side deck is a bit um, techy, I guess. So we play two crows. Um, after, so for the mirror we have two spaces left uh, with the rest of the side deck that we put in. So I decided for crow it's good to, uh, to interrupt the combo. You can also wait if he drops like rage or raw, so you just banish that away and can like OTK really fast. Yeah. Other than that, it helps against Orcus. Um But Kang did. Kang told me don't side it against Orcus, but I still did. So <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Yeah, three lands here. I think this is the best hand trip all in all against Orcus and Thunder. So everyone needs to play it. We played three Gamma Seals. Um, we had like we were like pretty scared of the demise striker, and we told okay you can you can out the floodgates if they play any. Other than that, you just drop them on it and just kill them. Just OTK them with the fusion. They can't do anything. Um, yeah, it helps against Thunder, against Orcus. Also, if you're like a bit scared of the gear, so if he sticks on the field, <coughs> I like them. We thought about playing six Kaijus. But I just was, <coughs> I was happy with uh, three Gamma Seals. Oh man, my voice is gone. <coughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Too much exciting you get. Yeah, it's like I talked so much today. <laughs> okay, two Super Police, obviously. It's, uh, it's so broken, I want it banned. It was always broken when it was allowed. I don't get it why we have it too. The only... Like the only reason you don't play Zala is because of this card, and if you play Zala, I won like three mirrors with this card. You can, it's so sacky. I don't know, it's so sad actually. Yeah, the Predator Plant guy for the Super Poly target for, I don't know, any dark, like for for Thunder Dragon as an, as an example. Also for Pendulums, you can like make the Vortex away, make the Jack uh, Jackal away, then negate the um, the Synchro guy that negates spell and traps. You know, the Dragster, the Dragster guy, and then you can play. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Shit card. <laughs> so, so I said, I wanted to play Reboot, and Kang told me, hey, Kian, we need to play Typhon so we can pop away the Mystic Mine and shit. And I was like, yeah, you know what? You're right, let's do that. And then I played against Alta Guys, Drake, against any deck with traps, and I was like so angry that I didn't have Reboot because I could always OTK. I had it always in my hand, and I couldn't even OTK. I had to grind, and I hate grinding a lot. Even with that thing. Yeah, and then one Imperial Auto. Yeah. It's a fun interactive card. Yeah, it's, I don't know why this is allowed. But I don't know, Konami likes allowing so like broken cards. You'd swap these for... Red Reboots. Reboots, and yeah. you think these should be bad. Yeah, please. <laughs> Just ban them away. The game would be much healthier. Any final thoughts on the main deck? Anything that he would change between main side or extra? Mm, except for the Reboots, I would say no. Um, yeah, just try out the build if you want to. Just play it on locals and maybe on Euros <laughs> if you want. Advice for people playing the three other big maps coming up? French, um, English? Yeah. Be prepared for a lot of Zala mirrors. I think after this uh, weekend we can like all talk that Zala isn't dead. Striker is also relevant, but um, <laughs> just practice enough against Striker, against the mirror, and you will be fine. Okay, cool. And any final shout outs or thoughts? Yeah, uh, <laughs> so. First of all, I need to shout out Ultimate Guard and Avayo. Great sponsors, thank you all. Um, also, all the people that like travel with me, thank you. Special shout out goes to Kang, my wife. Um, Kazi, my friend. Rene, my friend that topped his first net, his first top all in all. I'm really happy for him. Dex, he tested with me like a lot. He like went to my home and I, want, I wanted to like study for my university exams, but he was like, no, we need to test the August matchup. And I was like, okay, fine, let's do that. Adrian for being like a great uh, team captain and Team Curry Bros Daniel Neville for making the death profile. Thank you. Cool. Thank you very much. Congratulations. We look forward to seeing you at Utrecht for yes, the European Championship. For sure.